Good day, good day! How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan O. And, uh, well, we got a different kind of unboxing today. Just a, just a little bit different. Always got something different. Well, let's get into it on a kind of unboxing Saturday. But this is going to be a uh, Matchbox Power Scouts Adventure System. Yeah, check this out. Do you guys remember these things? Well, they came out in like uh, 2008 is when they uh, kind of said that these came out. So that's, you know, it's a, it's a couple days ago. All right, so this... Um, was a great big thing. And check these out. They had uh, a lot going on. <laughs> these are awesome. Tap on, tap off action. Uh, you know, you can go in the store and you can try them. Of course, these are all, all dead here. Um, uh, but it was the Land Rover Defender. If we can get focused in on that. Um, yeah, just a really nice uh, looking vehicle there. This is, uh, we're going to take a look at that, but let's just take a look at the packaging. Motorized 4x4, plays with the Power Scouts courses. Okay, so let's talk about this. Power Scouts Adventure System, uh, World Skulls Challenge. And uh, just a great big uh, play set that they had going on. And there was the, oh, here they are. The Rock Ridge. Rolling Redwoods and the Skull Challenge, and they had one more too. I don't know if it's on one of these other ones. No, they had a Lava Escape also. And uh, so, like I say, they came out in 2008, and these play sets were uh, uh, sold separately, and uh, the play sets were pretty big. Um, you got, you can find them on eBay, I believe. I, you know, I didn't even check that, but uh, you can find them. And the play sets would come with a vehicle as well. And a lot of times they would come with two um, obstacles. They would come with two obstacles on them. I think, although the the rolling uh, redwood was just one obstacle, the you get in the log and you roll over. But then it would come with two obstacles and eight foot of track, which. Uh, is uh, kind of interesting if you kind of see it there. The track was kind of like a monorail system, but it was eight foot, uh, two foot sections. And uh, yeah, so, you know, um, they hook it together and, and you go around. And I, ne I never did collect any of the uh, play sets. You know, I was just, I'm just a Land Rover guy. I can barely keep up with <laughs> buying all the Land Rovers I, I, I want that, you know, collected all the stuff that goes with them. But this is just awesome. They, and then, so this is kind of the collection of vehicles that came with that. Now there's the, the green, the green one there. And I also have the blue one as well. There was a blue one. So that was the two colors, as far as I know, as far as the Land Rover. And uh, they do have different numbers. This one is number N5335. And uh, this was uh, M, M0163. So I don't know why that's so uh, dark in there. But yeah, that's kind of dark in there. But yeah. And while it's kind of the printing is kind of not that well anyway. But the... Uh, Ready for Action was kind of a series. Uh, you know, I didn't grab them, but some of the uh, regular Matchbox uh, diecast, 164 diecast, uh, kind of had this kind of uh, border and stuff like that uh, from back of the way. It would be go up and down the side of the uh, card. But so there you go. Uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. So I've got uh, the 01 blue one. And a Defender on there, very nice uh, snorkel, big old tires on there. And then uh, this kind of modeled after the uh, die-cast, uh, you know, the Defender 110 that they did. So this is all plastic, 
and uh, but it has the same configuration as the uh, 164 die cast. So they just kind of expanded and uh, molded it in plastic. So we're just taking a look at the blue one in the package here because talking about unboxing Saturday, just so happens that I have one more green one. All right. <laughs> so I got, I'm laughing. There's a reason I'm laughing. All right. So I recently have moved the uh, Land Rover collection to uh, Roverland to a new uh, location, a new shop and uh, boxing and unboxing and setting up and stuff like that. And uh, I knew I had three of these. Well, I knew I had these and I knew I had one that I had opened. Okay. I knew it. I knew I had one that I opened and I went through every box looking for the opened one that I thought that I had cut the end of this open. Now I had these sitting on the, on the, on the, uh, in the dugout the bullpen, ready to come to bat when I found that other one that was open. And I tell you twice, twice, I scourged the shop, the inventory, the boxes, because I'm still, you know, putting stuff on display and, you know, and I just looked and looked and looked. And finally last night, night before, I'm like, I, I got to do this video. I need an unboxing video. So I got to find this car. So I, I went through half the inventory looking for this. And then I'm like, you know what? I got to go look at this. So I went over and took a look. It was the bottom that I had cut open. <laughs> the bottom. And I did such a neat, neat little job on doing the bottom that I didn't realize that it was this one. So anyway, I was sitting there all the time. And, oh, I'm like, are you kidding me? Now, as you notice, they had little stands and stuff that they would stand on so you could uh, power them up. And of course we have those stands and everything still available in the packaging there. Uh, little uh, clips to tell you how to, to uh, work those stands and everything. And then it came with uh, instructions. So we're gonna take a quick, quick, quick peek at these. So here you go. This is the instructions or contents of what you would have. Oh, here's the number for all the other ones. Yep, there you go. No assembly required, but you did have to uh, put in the battery. And uh, let's see. So yeah, so here you go. Battery installation. It does clip in on the nose. We'll take a look at that later on. But if you want to just take a, a quick freeze frame of that, take a look at it. So then it does have a working winch. Yeah, so there you go. And uh, you can, yeah, so you could uh, tow each other. And we're gonna look at, look at that winch later on there on how that works. So really kind of cool, there it is, 2008 Mattel. And uh, really kind of neat. So we've got the instructions still with that. So that's kind of cool. And, uh, if you guys do follow me at all, you know that I'm a pack rat and I keep everything. If I even open stuff up, but I do uh, keep it around and keep it nice. So it got a, uh, a uh, uh, history of, oh, no, I'm dropping stuff. That's all right. So anyway, so yeah, it just comes sliding right out. There's a little uh, little piece in there that uh, kind of holds it in, in place. So there we go. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is the green version. A little bit more uh, going on than the blue version. But it, the GB there for Great Britain, Defender, Land Rover. I'm not really sure what the 697, but the, D, DR, the DER, that was the Desert Endurance Race uh, that they um, kind of went after. But like I say, the same kind of basic uh, as the die cast. There you go, MBX Mission, yeah. So very cool, very good details on the plastic. Like I say, that's all plastic. And so how that would work, um, now the winch was just, uh, just um, you would just uh, work it with your finger. You, there's no power winch or anything. Uh, 
But yeah, so what would happen is, is you push down on this bugger on the back end, and that would activate the wheels. Now it looks like it's going backwards, but that's only because of filming purposes. <laughs> uh, that's just the way it works, but that's, that's going forward. So let's see if we can get a little shot here on this bugger in action. Look at it go, yeah. Oh, let's turn, turn it around, it's coming back, coming back, coming back, don't go anywhere, folks. But this little bugger, she would just go. Then you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then you just push the back, the back of it again, and then it would uh, shut off. So you just push it, and then, uh, whoa, oh, man, it's a powerful little bugger. Yeah, I put another battery in there. Luckily, the battery that was in there didn't uh, explode or corrode all over. But uh, you can see on the wheels there, MBX. What does that say on there? Blasters. Yeah. Blasters, but really, really cool little thing. Uh, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, here, let's. Uh, so this kind of pops up. Uh, and you can see the battery. I got a cheap old battery in there, but then it clips off. There's a C clips there that bolt uh, that clip onto this uh, metal rod up front. But uh, you just take this and you swing it aside. And then you take the battery out, put that on there like that. Then you can just go ahead and uh, clip that baby right back on that metal rod. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and do that there, Dan, without breaking it, right? Oh, are you kidding me? There we go. So that's how she would go, right there. All right, so then, as you notice on the back, it's got this uh, Octagon uh, plug-in thing, and it just said pretty neat. Now, this is a 2007, but that's, you know, when they made it with 2008. These little tab things here were just where they uh, would hook into the display thing. And a little Matchbox logo there. Oh yeah, 2008. Well, it's a 2000, 2007 Land Rover Defender. That's the model of the year, the year of the model. So what you can do here is the Octagon stuff, is you can pull this off. Ooh, oh, cheese balls, come on. There you go, pull that off. And you can put that on the back. If I could do this, you know, snap on the back. So then you could have one on the back and pull whatever uh, was stuck in the backwards. Cause you know the Defender wouldn't get stuck. You know, it'd be all the mother trucks that would get stuck. <laughs> so there you go. That's how that would work. So you just put that in there and that's just a little string. I don't know how long it is, but it just comes up big old hitch on there. So then you can uh, pass it through the octagon there octagon keyhole and you could hook whatever it is and like I say there's quite a few vehicles in that that bugger that, I do kind of collect this one this is uh, the Safari uh, no Thunder V12 Thunder I do collect that uh, casting because I'm a big Dakar rally uh, nut and I love the big trucks that uh, race in Dakar rally uh, too bad the Land Rover is not in the uh, truck series anymore but uh, the cars but but there you go so that's what we got a little unboxing yeah we took it out of the box can you believe that huh yeah unbelievable it's kind of rare around here <laughs> kind of rare around here in Roverland but there it is do you have any of these power scouts they are really kind of cool I like them a lot and like I said, <laughs> I had to tell you the story about me losing it, but it was right there under my nose. That was hilarious. But anyway, that's going to be it for today for an Unboxing Saturday. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, check these out. Yeah, Google them and uh, eBay them and uh, see if you can find your favorite one. Otherwise, you know it, folks. Go over to Facebook and... Uh, and uh, what is it? Instagram, yeah. And uh, check me out there. Make sure you become a member of uh, Roverland on Facebook. We do a lot of little, a lot more interaction over there and posting. So that's that's really kind of cool there. So all right, we're gonna call it a video. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the weekend. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.